Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are doing a countertop haul video. So I am not at the table like usual. We are doing it on my kitchen counter. So let's go to that now. All right, let's start our countertop haul. So the first thing I wanna show is right over here. I actually bought this at Savers, and it's kind of old. I mean, it says the Cyclone of Song B oh, by C.E. Leslie. Uh, and there's a copyright on here. 1888 so I thought that was kind of old and the paper as you can see it, it kind of wants to fall apart every time I touch it but so we've got really loose binding let me show you here here's the inside and then yeah these papers are kind of so it's definitely old 1888 now that's pretty interesting over at savers this was in a clear bag so I actually opened it up because I wanted to, it, it, I don't know, I just, I didn't almost believe it at first whenever I saw, saw it. So I wanted to open it up and check that it was actually old. And uh, so I did do that. There's some really interesting music in here, all the music. So this was, I want to say like $1.99 or $2.99, but it's a pretty cool old book. And I'll probably end up selling that during one of my Friday Night Live sales. Uh, oh look, so the price originally was $5. That's kind of cool. But yeah, just the cover art's really neat. So that is one thing I bought at Savers. And then I did buy uh, these things right here at Savers. Those were in a baggie for $4. And I think what caught my eye the most was the paperweight and this uh, figurine. So let me show you this over here first. We've got a little Italian bowl in the pressed glass. So it's kind of cool. It's like a little sauce or trinket. Well, I say anything that looks like this, a little trinket, but it's kind of like a berry bowl or you could do your chain, you could put your change in it, but it is marked Italy on the bottom there. And it has the diamond points on it. It's really pretty. So I'll wash that up and uh, that'll probably go on a Friday night live sale for $5 or so. And this is another kind of thing. <laughs> It is Jamestown, Virginia, 1607 to 2007. So they had an anniversary with that. This is something that I don't know what I would do with it. Probably just redonate it. Uh, it's not hardly worth me dealing with a shot glass like that. But then we've got this really cool, I think that's a dog, yeah. A dog and a butterfly. It's super cute. I love the colors. I, the, the arrangement of this is very interesting too. Uh, being like this so I thought that was pretty cool and why is there white out on the bottom of it <laughs> uh, I don't know but I'm getting Japan vibes for it or uh, before it uh, oh that's not white out that's that's um that's spackle <laughs> so weird I pr I'm pretty sure it's uh, Japan I mean it might it might be China but I'm getting Japan vibes more than anything so either way it's really cute with with the way that it is so i picked that up inside the bag here's a little piece uh, from the you know mid-century 60s and it is ceramic with the pink on there let's see yeah there's no stickers on it anymore uh, or writing or anything so that's a shame but it's made to look like a victorian like the victorian era little cute little pill box or something so that was included for the 290 or 399 and then the last thing is this paperweight very cool it is a clover so that's very neat and it has the butterflies in it i didn't wipe it off there's just some residue on the outside of it and it's an overall really nice shape so the this paperweight here i'd probably sell for about 15 dollars uh, this little trinket thing sell on a friday night sale for about eight dollars or so maybe a little less this i said five this would probably sell for about five to eight dollars as well so overall lots of interesting things there for four dollars thought that was kind of oh that's basically a dollar a piece if you look at it that way now back here we have two putts houses pronounced or spelt p-u-t-z and it's a german word for like you know putzing around so you'd you'd kind of put these together 
and it is these are made in Japan but the originals go back to German Germany so they're made of cardboard or, or chipboard material and they use glitter and sand and they're also known as glitter houses but I do have a few of these in my collection and I decided to buy these because they were ten dollars and then marked 60% off so I think 60% or was it 40% well one of the two so it was either well it was like five or six dollars for each of these now the cellophane is missing out of this window that doesn't really affect me too much but you know I like the color a lot more than anything so and I think the shapes in really good sh it's in really good shape you can also put lights in here and sometimes you can hang these on your tree uh, they did they did come out with a couple sets that were I believe like a little maybe maybe they were this size or a little bit smaller and you could hang them right on your tree but I put them below my tree it's like a village that's the traditional way and here's this one um, also would have been oh yeah there's Japan so I bought those two for under my tree then over here bought this at the uh, antique mall the pair of them were nine dollars marked 50% off so I thought that was great so f like 450 for the pair of them and the Dalmatians believe they're a nice beautiful porcelain so we've got the Dalmatian and I don't usually find Dalmatian items so I figured I would get them this one's a little larger now the Dalmatians I I don't know if I would sell as a set or individually they, they do sort of go together, don't they? Well, no, the eyes are different. That one has like a brown eye, like eyeliner, let's call it. And these eyes are more or less black around them. So I don't think, let's look at the bottoms. Okay. Okay, I think they're constructed slightly different, very similar, so I would feel Oh, and the dots are kind of different, aren't they? These dots are kind of airbrush looking, and these are very round. Okay, so these are these are two different makers for sure. So I will split them up and sell them individually. So this little guy here, I'd probably sell for about $8. And this one right here, about $12. So that's, what is that, $20? And I paid for... 50 or yeah 450 that's pretty good and now for the giveaway so I am giving away this tea towel right here it has the pair of flamingos on it and it is a large tea towel brought to you by grandma's handmade USA available on Instagram and Facebook they do uh, have many different versions on there of different things not just flamingos they have all types of patterns and designs that you can get and they are reasonably priced they also do other things not just tea towels so go check them out but in order to win this one take a look at the description on this video for what you need to do to enter to win this free completely free i will ship it to you but i did want to show you one other thing so go check her out Grandmaid, grand grandmaids, grandma's handmade USA. You can check her out on Instagram and Facebook. I'll also put a link to that in the description, but I wanted to show you what they sent me. Oh, there's mine. So here's another version of it. And I think you can reach out and ask for specific types. Uh, for instance, I, do, I don't know how it works, honestly, if they, if they run out of material, but for sure you could probably, uh, check that out but this is the one right here that I chose whenever she gave me some options I think it's beautiful but yes the prices are reasonable and this is my flamingo tea towel so back to the video now over here we've got this really cool planter I love it because of the shell it's just it's so cool I I don't usually see stuff like this with the shell like that so we've got a made in Japan planter right here with a fish on it it no longer has the sticker, but it is so, so cool. So I definitely bought that. I forgot how much this was, maybe 3 to $5. And I would expect to sell it for about $15, maybe $18. A little bit of wear right on his, his um, right there. I'm not sure why, because that should be under the glaze, this coloring. So it might just be a manufacturer defect. It's not rough to touch or anything. So, But I bought that. I thought that was really cool 
for that planter. Now over here we have a little German box. This is a Germany water wheelhouse box. And it does play music when you open it. I did not wind it though. I should probably just wind it real quick. It's made in Japan. Or no, it's made in Germany. What am I talking about? We'll give it a little wind, just a smidge. Okay, that's, that should be good. There you go. And the water wheel does turn. So the, the works are under here. Well, can't get to it without turning it over. Uh, but there is the music, the music box down in there. But yeah, you can put stuff in here just like a regular box. And it stops when you close it. So that one was actually a really good deal. I think it was like, that one again was like between three and six dollars. I can't remember. And it would sell for between 15 and 25 dollars for this box. So that's cool. And then we have the, uh, the apple. I believe it's an apple and it does have the Japan foil sticker on it, which is super cool. And there's like a Pegasus flying in the air. That's neat. I cannot read the wording on there. Bocini maybe, but it has the controlled bubbles all throughout. Very neat. And this one was, I want to say like $3 that I paid for that paperweight and I would sell it for 18 to 20 for that one. The, here's another paperweight. This one is, just a, a green frog and because of it just what it is I would sell it for about 12 to 15 and I think I paid two to three dollars for this one as well and then up front here we have some chalkware so we've got the fish and the chicken they do not go together I mean unless you put them together <laughs> but this one has a really pretty pearlescent effect on the the paint and not not super glossy. This one is more glossy as you can tell there So this fish would have had a family. It would have been part of a family of a couple other fishes Fishes is that a word and then a couple bubbles water bubbles and you hang this on your wall made of chalkware uh, These came in various different colors. They made mermaid ones. They made all kinds of chalkware and usually Miller Studios made them in this case I think we showed it in the video this is Miller Studios 1954. Pretty early. It's a pretty early chalk. Uh, a lot of times you can find them in the 60s and 70s. But this here we've got the the chicken. The flying chicken. Now there is a chip. I didn't notice that. But they colored it in with like a little something. Uh, you, you could probably do a better job with that if you gave it a little attention. But it overall is in very nice shape. I just need to wipe it down. Give a little, get a little dust off of it. So... You hang it on the wall, just the same. And this one is Miller Studios 1965 for that one. And Oh, so I paid, I think $6 for this one. I would expect to sell this one here for about 12 to 15. And this one here I paid, I think $6 as well, about 12 to 15 on that one too. So very nice for those pair. Uh, then we just have the stuff right here in the center. This little poodle I bought for $1.50, I believe. And I would sell this on a Friday night live sale for about $8. Now his little flower could be replaced. You just yank that off and put another one on there with a little glue. It's kind of tired looking. But this is Norlene's Japan. So that's pretty neat. Has some age to it. So got that little figurine. And then we have the oil vinegar cruette very neat no chips or cracks and you can see there we have the chickens roosters on there it has the crazing throughout if you can see that up close the crazing and then on the bottom it just it does say hand painted nasco japan so i think it's cool and then here's the back this one i want to say was uh i think it was five dollars or less for this and i would sell this for about 15 the way that it is. Yeah, I think that's everything. Let me bring my little book over here. So that is the entirety of the haul video. So I will wrap it up here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.